Coach, back with another video, and today I'm going to be ripping on this EXN, but I'm going to be trying to ride it backwards as far as I can. So, one cool thing about these uh, electric unicycles is you can ride them in reverse just as fast as you can ride them forward. And that is one thing that, that a lot of people don't know when they first see these things, or first get, like, first think about getting into the hobby. If you have one, you, you definitely know about it, but if you're just seeing them, you don't really think about that. But you can ride these in reverse just as fast as you ride them forward. And if you don't know, the uh, the braking on these is just a, you lean back on it and you come to a stop. Um, but if you just keep leaning back and come all the way to a stop, eventually you'll go into reverse. And it takes a little time to do that, but you can basically, you got to train your mind because you're steering backwards essentially. And your mind does not want to cooperate with your feet and the way you're leaning and all that it really it takes a little bit in order to get it down to where you're not going to accidentally pull the wrong way and then create a, like a wobble effect or, and then completely mess up your whole jive and then you'll wipe out and so this is it takes a little while to get to this point but the way that you can learn this easily is just find somewhere um, where you're comfortable to ride like in your driveway or something like that and just get one little clean area of concrete uh, No, really obstructions around or anything like that and then practice going forward and then doing what, what I did at the start there uh, Do like the pendulum effect where you're dipping one pedal down Twisting your hips and then just kind of rotating kind of just lean your weight back and kind of trust it guys um, It's gonna be weird at first definitely it's gonna be weird at first. You're not gonna want to trust it and um, it, it takes a little while to do it, but you'll do, do it a few times, do it a few times, and eventually you'll get to where you can spin around, lean back, and you're good to go like two or three feet. And do it slow at first. Do it on like the smallest unicycle you have if you have uh, like two or three of them. If you have one of the bigger ones, it's a little bit harder to learn on, but you can get it down. And just kind of go, the best way to do it though is to go forward and then twist your hips and then use that forward momentum you already have to carry you into reverse because it's really really hard to learn how to ride in reverse just starting from a standstill and then trying to mount it and then go into reverse right off the bat it's also hard to come to a complete stop and then just go straight back into reverse you really it, it's just it, it's a lot more fluid and a lot easier if you start going forward and then spin around i don't know why that is but that that is the case it can be done either way though and honestly like people are like probably like well, what is the point of doing that and there's really no point of doing it it just really makes you overall a better rider being able to do it you, you may never come into a situation where you need to but just building on it and having the confidence to be able to ride backwards like this you know it, you want to make sure the road doesn't have any potholes or any obstructions in it if you're going to be ride backwards and try to keep looking forward like I'm doing here. Uh, one thing I, I like to do with no mirrors or anything, just look way down the road and just kind of just try to ride in reverse without even looking. And that really is something else. If you could, if you can get to where you can do that for a little while, that's just a crazy feeling, riding this thing in reverse and not even looking where you're going. That's, that's, it's a lot of fun and it takes a little while to, to get it down, but uh, I don't know. There's no reason not to learn it, really. And there may be a situation one day where you really need to jump up in the air and spin around and really be able to maneuver this thing, and you'll know how to do it. So, And also, so if someone's coming at you one day or something, you can just reverse, dude. You just... Like, dude, it'd be hilarious. Like, just you could not even turn around you can just take off in reverse dude away from a car away from any type of obstacle if you were just sitting there you had you had to you could get out of there quick dude and it's the funniest thing i've, I've had this thing before like man i i need to go somewhere again where it's like um a crowd of people man because if riding it through reverse and there is hilarious man i'll just go by somebody like yeah dude thing is just stuck in reverse man like they're like they think it i'm dead serious about it too and like it, it's it's hilarious bro like because you you go for a long way with it like and you can really act like if you if you really put some acting into it and act like you're out of control and swerve it and be like oh shit it's stuck in reverse man it's stuck in reverse man you'll really have some people like like dude they will be looking every which direction like what is going on is he serious what like what's happening like it'll definitely stir up some attention man and it, it's a trip
Uh, I need to definitely get that on film one day. It's funny, man. But being able to just cruise like this, this is cruising probably at about 20, um, 23, 25 miles an hour right here. This isn't too fast. Maybe even 30, actually. Maybe even getting up there. Like, I definitely am getting to where this is uh, quite comfortable. And you can just cruise in reverse, no problem, or anything like that. And having a mirror definitely helps with the neck strain. And when you first start with it, the way you angle your neck and your body, uh, you got to get this angle down right because if you're just trying to turn your neck and your neck only, um, it's going to strain your neck a lot. You kind of got to dip your shoulder and twist your whole upper body. And it, it makes it where you can ride in reverse way easier doing it that way. But I'm just cruising. I really don't know why I felt like riding backwards, but I guess I did. <laughs> one thing, one fun thing to do is just see how far you can ride. And then I, even in the city, I did a ride back like two years ago on the Kick Song 16S, where I rode all the way, I, I did a full commute through the city riding backwards. And I even, like at every stoplight I came to, I just ride in circles backwards. So I'd be able to stay up and literally complete the entire route in reverse, essentially. And if you ever needed a video that really demonstrated the ease of use and just how convenient this thing is, I mean, this this takes the cake for it right here. Just being able to, I mean, you could eat tacos, film a YouTube video, ride it in reverse, get to your destination, all you know, all while going backwards and just chilling, and listening to some music on it with, with a headlight that was facing the wrong way. But I mean, I mean, it really is cool, guys. And like the whole thing is like with a commute, you know, people dread a dread a commute, and having to get a bike out and having to go through all the hassle of going anywhere. I mean, this you can get on thing, ride it backwards where you need to go. I mean, it's I mean that just shows right there, just the total epic convenience factor of this machine. I mean, it really is. It, it takes the cake for, for just being so small. If you ever need to, you can call an Uber. If you don't feel like riding, you can always throw it in the trunk of any Uber out there, really. Uh, you can take it on public transport. You can take it inside with you. You can do this with it. You can ride it backward. You can ride it forward. You can Johnny be nimble. Johnny be quick. You can. And then also, even though it can go fast, you can go at walking pace. If you ever find yourself on the sidewalk in, a, in like a situation where you have to be in a crowd of people, you can get to a point where you can go as literally slow as you need to on this thing and you can walk right with a crowd of people and be completely confident around those people uh just because of it, it it literally is more intuitive than walking once you get it down and you have like it's better braking and better um movement than walking even in crowds of people you can predict movements of people and everything like that once you get it down and it's it really is it is more nimble than walking like i can walk, use this in a crowd of people if i was like on a manhattan sidewalk and if you had me on this thing it, it would probably be 10 times better for the public for me to be on this than to actually be walking i mean and, and the best thing about it is it literally incorporates to any scenario you are not having to go through any type of gears anything like that it's all completely automatic as all electric vehicles are that's one great thing about it but with a personal vehicle like this, you can really, it, it opens up so many doors and, and it's incredible the dynamic approach to using this thing for adventuring, for commuting, just for total lifestyle change. And there's so many things you can do with it. The possibilities are endless with it. I mean, with a machine like this where you can ride it backwards, the tricks and like the professionalism and the, the amount of extreme stuff you can do with these and with the suspension coming out on them, I mean, the possibilities are endless. The, the tricks guys are going to be throwing on these soon, if it keeps advancing as fast as it is, man, I can't even keep up with, like, the, the stunts and stuff guys are doing on these. It's nuts. But one thing I can tell you that that is definitely overlooked is the possibilities of tricks on this thing. So with, like, snowboarding, you got... Like, how many times can you spin around on it? With the skis, it's like, okay, yeah, you can hit a rail, and then how many times can you spin around on the skis before you land on the ground? With this, this is going to be a very unique thing because it can be ridden in reverse just as fast as it can be ridden forward. And because of that, 
the speed, the lightweightness, and the nimbleness of this, I don't think we've even touched the surface of the potential of extreme tricks and the extreme nature of, like, X Games type stuff that you could do with these unicycles. Also, dudes, more in motion V12 content coming. Planning to film that like tomorrow, but the pre orders are live for that thing. They are going to be shipping out soon. Check out the links below to pre order yours. Uh, e Wheels, I know for sure, is going to be shipping them out soon. So go ahead and get that in. And I'll see you dudes in the next one. If you enjoyed the video, throw the thumbs up. Со мной куча черт.